<laughs> oh my gosh, Raylo. What a pile of filth. A pile of absolute filth. I have so much, so much hate for this sequel trilogy that there are so many more videos that I need to do because because this, this it's 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 therapeutic to talk. It's therapeutic to talk. Let's look at John Baker. I already put us a video as to how I thought Finn was uh, messed up, messed around, and I think that John Boyega maybe might be at fault, but I can cut John Boyega a bit of slack, you know, because I, I always said to John Boyega, why are you jumping up and down? I'm the most excited dude. You know, um, you're like the excitable black man amongst these other white people when the character you've been given is completely not a trash. But you know what? He's a, he's a young man, and I think he's learned... And been able to become wiser through these three films, you know. Um, and I think for Boyega right now, he has his check, he has his his money, and he's now letting out his true feelings on the on the on the franchise. And <laughs> I don't. The, one of the most disgusting things that I've seen online has been this whole rail or crap. And Twilight fans, these are Twilight fans who are trying to bring that disgusting, repulsive crap to Star Wars. Star Wars, a franchise that was pretty much about the hero saving the princess, farm boy, um, learning about his father and then becoming this great warrior Jedi, which was obviously written by Ryan Johnson and so forth. That is what Star Wars is about. It's the classic hero story. Star Wars isn't Twilight. It's not Twilight. Star Wars is a universal hero's story. You know, it's not Twilight. It isn't this cheap ass, low grade, B tech, brick like romance that they're trying to sell us between Ray and Kylo. Because the truth is, that was hinted at a bit in Last Jedi, but it was it was a bit more com 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 complex and so forth. But by the end, it was like Kylo was like, "No, nah, no, nah, not really in love with you, bro." I'm like, I'm trying to take you over to, to the dark side. But because Rise of Skywalker is such a piece of crap film that only lives off of um, trying to give the fans Star Wars greatest hits, the really thing was fully accentuated based on what was happening online. Because they had all of their data guys saying, oh, what what do guys want, want, want the most? Oh my gosh, yes, they, they want this whole radio crap. Let's give them that. So for Boyega, um, completely insulting and just mocking the very ideology of the romance which is stupid the romance makes no sense because in one film the guy is saying you're you're nothing you mean nothing join me over on the on the on the evil side so now oh my gosh i love you and, and what was so much in love we're like wait why why did why did you kiss him <laughs> it's like why did you kiss him it makes no sense like you saw the seeds slowly being gradually built up of the romance between Han and Leia. So it made sense. The Han and Leia thing made sense. Because, and it, it was organic and it was real. This is just, just completely manufactured, which just makes it even sicker and, and stupid and um, inauthentic. So for Boyega, because look, and I think this is the key thing that people raised up. A lot, of, a, lot, a lot of these clowns were the guys who had an issue with a black stormtrooper. Or the potential of a black Jedi. That vid is coming soon. The bit and switch. That vid is coming soon. I'm just building up to that bit, um, vid. They had an issue with it. And Boyega in Force Weekers had to fight off a lot of those races and so forth. And think for Boyega, he was taken aback. But like, wait, what the hell is this? I've never had to deal with this en masse. So as of right now, he's like, no, screw you. Like, I no longer have to bite my tongue. He had to bite his tongue before Force Awakens. He could bite his tongue before Last Jedi. But it's done for the promo for Rise of Skywalker. Now that it's out and it's making all of its money, I will make a bill because people are completely not clowns. Um, he's like, screw this now. Screw you all. This real thing is stupid. The Star Wars romance I was put out is completely and utterly stupid. And that and this is the key thing. I'm no longer a member of the Disney family. Because Disney can't own everything. They own a lot, they can't own everything. And I think Boyega wants. Boyega doesn't want to be a Disney actor. He wants to be an actor. And I think the difference between a John Bo John Boyega and um, Daisy Ridley is that Daisy Ridley is an average actress who needs Disney. John Boyega is a very talented actor. Go watch Detroit. He's a very talented actor that doesn't need Disney. There's an A24 out there. There's a Blumhouse out there. There are very good independent production houses that ain't going to get bought up 
by Disney because they make it oh, yeah, completely different kinds of films. So Disney, they'll, they'll buy 80% of the world. They can't buy everyone. There are still those independent houses making independent art house movies that a John Boyega can go in and actually um, be a part of. So I just think, you know, um, that being said and everything, you know, I as much as I fear for um, Boyega's career based on how I feel Finn has harmed his, his career and I think how he's ended it now, obviously, with him now warring against this so-called um, Disney, Disney fans... I just think it's it's great that he's he's doing it and it, and what I just find even sicker are because I just read some of the comments where some people were like oh my gosh I really believed in you how are you why are you jealous of Adam Drive or your oil this because you know what it is it's like okay I'm, I'll be real right now certain white teenagers that's the key thing white teenagers who are Twilight fans I want to see their white ultra ultra super white romantic fantasies played out on screen and they look. And because they, they have so sad lives, um, worthless lives, that they put their worthless lives in so Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley and they view that as their fantasy. And if anybody disrupts their fantasy, they take it personally. And as John Boyega said, I'm talking about flipping fiction here. I am mocking fiction, something that is fantasy. But you sad morons, because... You, you you don't actually want to face life and face reality. You're taking this thing so seriously, a romance between two fictional characters. Because Adam Driver and Daisy really don't give a damn about him. He's mocking you. So instead of actually being angry, like, oh my gosh, how could you be so terrible? How, how could you be so inconsiderate to fans? Where get off, get off your lazy ass, get off your flipping com computer, get off, get out of your flipping basement, go outside, get a job, do something. Do something productive and don't put your lives into stuff that is fictional, okay? Don't, don't live a sad freaking life. That's real, man. Peace out.